you know, Andrew Clennell, we've been talking about this for days now, weeks that this challenge on the way out is a bit more diabolical than, than on the way in in many respects. We're seeing that now with his second spike in, in Melbourne. You just can't win. You can't win once that job keeper comes off. The unemployment's going to go up. Sounds like they're going to taper it, but you're going to end up with high unemployment. That traditionally is a bit of a government killer. And uh, but th this this result um, for Anthony Albanese, I said he needed a clear result on the night. I think at the very least that's clear that that that's not going to occur. So it's bad news for him because as that situation occurs with unemployment, etc., I think the caucus members. Uh, knowing that uh, the majority of them are from the right and Anthony Albanese's from the left will be a little bit impatient and wondering whether there isn't a better option for them. That's the danger out of this result for Anthony Albanese. But uh, on the Liberal side, if they were to get up, there, there might be a stronger push, as I said, for reform because it's like we're in the ascendancy, Labor are hopeless. Uh, let's get on with it. Let's take something meaningful to the election we need to do it, to help the economy, to help jobs. It's going to be a fascinating... Uh, year or so ahead and uh, every chance of an election in the second half of next year, I would have thought, Karen.